time in the years that we were active and when we started to just play the greatest hits and Quadrophenia. Uh, Roger has done Tommy, as you know, a few times on his own. Pete Townsend is an English rock musician, composer, multi-instrumentalist, vocalist, songwriter, and author. Townsend's best known for being the co-founder, leader, and guitarist for The Who, one of the most popular and successful rock bands of recent memory. Along with contributing to the music of this band, Pete's also the principal songwriter. In 1990, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Today, Pete's considered one of the greatest guitarists of all time. He's won countless awards over the course of his career. In 1983, Townsend received the Brit Award for Lifetime Achievement. In 2001, he received a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award as a member of The Who. And in 2008, he received Kennedy Center Honors. So my role in the band had just become like I just show up on guitar, I swing my arm around and play a load of songs that I wrote when I was 12 and a half. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Peter Dennis Blandford Townsend, but is also known as Big Nose, Pete, and Bijou Drains. He was born May 19, 1945, in Chiswick, Middlesex, England, making him 76 at the time of this production. He stands at 1.829 meters or six feet tall. When asked about his favorite song, he said, I like In the Ether." That's not a popular choice. It's a song I feel expresses how it feels to be getting older and feeling lost, as lost as one felt when young and yet feeling at last that pain may have a purpose. Throughout his solo career and his career with The Who, Townsend has played a large variety of guitars, mostly various Fender, Gibson, and Rickenbacker models. In 1967, Townsend had begun to explore spirituality. Townsend swiftly absorbed all of Meher Baba's writings that he could find. By April 1968, he announced himself Baba's disciple. At about this time, Townsend, who'd been searching for the past two years for a basis for a rock opera, created a story inspired by the teachings of Baba and other writings and expressed the enlightenment he believed that he'd received from them, which ultimately became Tommy. Townsend had become an active champion of children's charities. The debut of Townsend's stage version of Tommy took place at San Diego's La Jolla Playhouse in July 1992. The show was earmarked as a benefit for the London-based Nordoff Robbins Music Therapy Foundation, an organization that helps children with autism and intellectual disability. He suffers from tinnitus, a constant ringing in the ears he attributes to years of exposure to extremely loud rock music. In 2003, he was cautioned by police and placed on the sex offenders register for five years following his admission that he accessed child pornography on the internet. In a 1989 interview with radio host Timothy White, Townsend apparently acknowledged his bisexuality, referencing the song Rough Boys on his 1980 album Empty Glass. Townsend later wrote in his 2012 autobiography, Who I Am, that he's probably bisexual. He's the best friend of Roger Daltrey. In 1968, Pete Townsend married his first wife, Karen Astley, whom he met in art school. After getting married, the pair moved in together and had three children. Many of their children went into the arts. Astley and Townsend separated in 1994 before finalizing their divorce in 2009. Following this breakup, Pete began a long-term relationship with musician Rachel Fuller. They were married in 2016. Novels and write plays and do things that you know, I love performing with the band, I love working with Roger, but I wanted this tour to be one where we had mu new music in the can. Born into a musical family, he started playing instruments from an early age under the guidance of his parents. Unfortunately, both of his parents drank heavily and argued regularly, and his mother was constantly having affairs. By the time he was a toddler, his parents had split up and he was sent to live with his grandmother. Even though it might seem like things couldn't get any worse for Pete, his grandmother would turn out to be mentally unstable. However, things turned around when his parents got back together and purchased a home. Townsend was then sent back to live with his parents. Aside from music, Pete's early passions included reading and walking along the seaside. 
Although he saw himself pursuing a career as a journalist, Pete received a guitar for Christmas as a child and began to teach himself how to play. He then teamed up with some school friends to form a casual band. Rock and roll continued to influence Pete's musical direction, and by the 60s, he dropped out of art school to pursue a full-time career in music. In the early 60s, Townsend joined a band called the Detours. Eventually, he became the lead guitarist and joined figures like Roger Daltrey and Doug Sandom. The group later became aware that another band had an identical name, so they changed their moniker to The Who. The group's first hit came in 1965 with I Can't Explain. They then followed up with My Generation, which resonated strongly with young people at the time. Townsend became notorious for destroying his guitars while on stage and swinging his arms in a windmill maneuver while playing his instrument. In 1965, The Who released its debut album, My Generation. After its success, The Who toured throughout the United States. Over the next few decades, Keith Moon and John Entwistle passed away. Despite this, The Who continues to create music and tour. They're still considered to be one of the best live bands. Pete Townsend remains the primary songwriter for the group, and he's credited as a pioneer within the music scene. On March 22, 2018, Townsend stated that a new Who album should feature original songs by Roger Daltrey as well as him. That album, simply titled Who, was released on December 6, 2019. It was the band's second album as a duo and their first in 13 years. Music together, that's all, and that's what we're doing. And But we just heard from, uh, just before we came out, that our record label are really, really, really excited about the album. He makes money as a songwriter, vocalist, author, and singer. His income increased in 1964 when he co-founded The Who. In total, Townsend has written over 100 songs for the band. In addition to his musical exploits, Townsend is an established writer, having authored several essays, articles, books, scripts, and many other projects. Pete has also launched his own brand of vodka and owns several restaurants as well as a football team called the London Angels. He has a net worth of $150 million. In 1996, Pete Townsend purchased The Wick, a famous Georgian house located in Richmond, Greater London. Designed in 1775, the house has a history of being owned by prominent artists. The historic residence was once owned by actor Sir John Mills. He eventually sold it to Ronnie Wood, a member of the Rolling Stones. Townsend bought the property from George Michael's music publisher. Perched on a hilltop in the leafy West London suburb of Richmond upon Thames, with jaw-dropping views of the River Thames below, this four-story, six-bedroom mansion offers over 8,500 square feet of interior space. In 2016, Pete paid $5 million for the cottage next door. In June 2021, Pete put The Wick on the market for $20 million. Pete owns the following vehicles. A 1966 Jaguar E-Type. A 1965 Volkswagen Transporter. A 1935 Packard Hearse. A 1965 Mercedes S600 Pullman. A 1972 Ferrari 365 Daytona Spider. A 2001 Ferrari 550 Barchetta. A 2016 Mercedes Mulsanne Speed. A 1963 Lincoln Continental. A 1980 Ferrari 400i. A 1999 Ferrari 550 Marinello. 
and a 2009 Vespa scooter. 